Internet, hello, welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today is Wednesday, today is local Chicago food day, and today, Mr. D's Shish Kebabs is where we're headed. Uh, steak sandwiches, looks steak like. Steak sandwiches. Sounds incredible. Uh, and then also, do not forget, this week and this week only, half off our hats, 50% off, 850 for the uh, Ford facing Bill hat, what do you even call those? It's a baseball trucker hat. Trucker hats. And then uh, 10 bucks for the beanie. Limit. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Uh, so 50% off, check those out. And uh, if you're here for the food, let's get there. Little B-roll, little montage, let's go. All right, guys, two steak sandwiches for Mr. D's shish kebabs in that bag acquired jump cut. All righty, ready? Yep. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, pretty simple. We just got our nice little bun here, and then, uh, I don't even know what you call it, I guess not a bun, but there's the steak, and then uh, I got grilled onions on mine, and there it is. And then real quick on the big camera, as you can see it, in all its glory, bada boom, bada bang. Looks like we're in the neighborhood of Montclair. Oh, okay. Uh, how much were these? Nine dollars and seventy-five cents with the fries. Yes, good price. I like that. Okay. All right, steak sandwich. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's no Rico Bay's, but <laughs> no, that's still really tender. They just what? Take the cheapest steak meat. I think so. Is it like skirt steak? Like what are they? Probably use? skirt steak, fried up on the uh, flat top, flat or the top. griddle, and just. Do they either run it through that thing that tenderizes it, or do they tenderize the crap out of it themselves? I feel like that's how they get it so I don't thin. know they have machines for it. They used to, like, when I worked in as a meat cutter, they had, like, a thing you could run these steaks through to, like, tenderize that's it. That's awesome. Yeah, this bread's, like, perfect for it. It's not really, like, super thick bread, although it looks like it. It's not. It's, like, thin bread doesn't get in the way. And it's so, like, crispy on the outside. Yeah. Look how thin that bread is. It doesn't get in the way. I like me some fried up onions. That's solid. I'm going to put fries on it. I did that already. Oh, nice. I'm smarter than you. Well, yeah. I did it first. Right, you don't get I'm to say a, it. I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds insecure. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I feel like the fries, it almost just looks like they're almost shaped perfectly like the same. Look at They just like, this one runs the length of the whole sandwich. Yeah, that's perfect, beautiful. right? Mm hmm. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put more fries in mine. I wonder how long this place has been here. It looks like it's been here for a minute. That sign is so vintage and classic. I mm -hmm. would love that. And they, I saw on the menu they got a shish kebab sandwich too. Oh, I bet that's pretty good. Where they do the right thing of taking the damn meat off the skewer and putting it on some mm -hmm. delicious bread. Oh, that's the one thing this is missing, like some kind of good sauce. Doesn't it, doesn't it feel like it kind of needs a sauce? It can be a little dry, even with the tenderness of the steak and the onions. Like I still feel like it needs a little bit more. Ridiculous. That's that's just perfect. They need to get some of our hot sauce there, don't they? And all these like restaurants, like even yesterday, if Sonic would have marketed that Fritos burrito with like a special sauce on it that they made, they could just white label ours, buy a bunch yeah. of ours, sell it as your own, people would be like lining up in droves to go get that thing. Right. I really do think like having your own little special like branded hot sauce as a place like this and like never telling people what's in it, oh. too much. In the best way possible. Yeah. I mean. Dude, that really ramped it up. I made the french fry move. Man, this is fantastic. I definitely say if you guys get this spot, add fries to it. Really elevated it. And then if you got some hot sauce, I'd suggest ours. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow. I think Chicago's best is who got me hip to this. Oh, did they do it? Yeah, I think I was just looking up steak sandwiches because I thought they were awesome. I love that Chicago does steak sandwiches like this. Like, obviously the Rico Benny's one, and the other place that was near there that we did, they put the like red sauce and marinara on it. Mm -hmm. This is, I mean, this is great without it. I think I do prefer it with a red I sauce. I think so too. Doesn't a steak sandwich seem like such a Chicago thing? Mm -hmm. I like this better than an Italian beef. I wish steak sandwiches were the thing. I wish those were on every corner. Look at these fries, guys. Nice and crispy. Nice long. They look hand cut. If that's something you're into, if you don't like robots. Can you imagine hand cutting fries? <laughs> yeah, I do it at home sometimes. Really? Yeah, we're straight off the potato. Got to soak them in water first. Softens them up. Something with the starch. Mmm. Like, I don't know what it is. Science happens and yeah. it's crispier and better. Yes, science! This is so good. I'm pretty impressed. The one thing I don't like about it is it's got a little bit of a char taste to it. Mm. Mine has a little bit of that, like, char burn from the flat top. Yeah, it does have a little bit of that. And I know a lot of people love that. I mean, there's a whole genre of, like, char burgers and whatnot. Yep. Not for me. Yeah, I dig it. 
but all in all, that's that's great. Mm -hmm. And it's just got the that vibe, that like old school, family owned. Yeah. Vibe that's just fun. It really does. There's just like something about the like the nostalgia. Like there's nostalgia probably when you walk in there. It just looks like a spot that would be in like any town. It's just like super old. Was there like one guy working there? It's just like it what looks I like imagine. a wife and a husband. Yeah. See, like that's just that's that's adorable and perfect. Maybe a question for today is what's the uh, what's like the local spot for in their hometown? Yeah. That's like old school. That's like an mm -hmm. established. It's been there forever. Nothing's changed. Same sign. Same food. Simple and great. Yeah. What's yours? Probably like Rudy's. Mm -hmm. They do have those vintage signs there still too. Yeah. Yeah, my tiny little town of Redford, Michigan, I think it's probably the Redford Grill. That's like a diner, but it's been there forever. Yeah. And they do exactly what you like would expect. They give you way too much food for not much money. That's the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, also I got a new blog out. Uh, went and did a bunch of cool Christmas stuff in downtown Chicago. We went to like Happy's Bar. Watch people fall off the ice, or tried to watch people fall off the ice skating <laughs> rink. Unfortunately, they were all too good as skaters. Damn. And um, just all the cool different like Christmas stuff you can do in downtown Chicago. So if you want to see what that's like, go check it out. It's a fun one. And then don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to this yeah. channel as well. New videos every weekday. Uh, all the people that keep coming back, we love you for it. And uh, we appreciate you. But now, you guys probably want to score. You want the Sean and Corey rating. Let's do out of five. So you, you went to Happy's in that vlog. When I heard Happy, I thought of John Favreau's character in the MCU, whose name is Happy. Mm. So out of five happies, how many happies do you give the steak sandwich, Mr. D's, shish kebabs, and Montclair Corey? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I actually think 975 is a little bit high. Okay. Only because this seems like the type of place that should have things a little bit cheaper. Maybe I'm wrong on that, I don't know. Um, it's a good size sandwich, I guess that's fair. Uh, yeah, I don't know. My gut tells me they could have like prettied it up a little bit. Not really pretty, you don't want it to be beautiful, but like a sauce on there would be nice. Yeah. I wish it wasn't charred a little bit, but all in all it was still really good. I'm just gonna give it like a, a good decent score of a 3.25. Yeah, I definitely understand that. I think because we drove so far out here, because this is nowhere near where we live, I would have expected maybe to creep down closer yeah. to like 825 or something yeah. like that. But I think getting out of there for less than 10 bucks, cash only, for fries too with that. Like I think that's fine. That is true with the fries. I forgot the fries come with it too, that's true. Right. Does that affect your score at all? I'm not, I don't locked? care to change anything. <laughs> yeah, locked in. <laughs> um, I thought that was fantastic. That's just like, steak sandwiches are so different than anything else I feel like I get for lunch. Like there's just something like special about it to me. Like we don't get them a ton. It's not everywhere and when I do, I'm just so happy and I thought they killed it with that. It was a little drier than I wanted it to be. So it needed a sauce. So I'm gonna take a point off for that. But dude, overall, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 3.9. Look at that. Overall, I was really impressed with that. Um, so yeah, that's, Miss, that's Mr. D's. I wonder what D's stands for. What if he's got like a really long Italian last name? D'Agostino's. <laughs> Um, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, we're getting some pizza. We're going to Dough Bros in downtown Chicago. Super late night, New York style slice. So come on back and uh, we'll see you very soon. Thanks for rocking with us. Don't forget the hats, both the trucker and the beanie are half off. So thanks for supporting us. Goodbye.